welcome to fourth grade, chapter 13, lesson three. We're going to go ahead and get started. So we are doing the area of combined rectangles, which means these are odd shapes. Okay. So what we're doing is we are taking, we're making them into shapes that we know. So now we have just two rectangles. Okay. Again, two rectangles. Okay. So we can do this two ways. Okay. We can. Let me get some scrap paper here so that you guys can see both ways, okay? So, we can do 9 by 12 and 5 by 7, and we can add those up, okay? Or, we can do 9, or sorry, 12 by 14, and then we can take away the 5 by 5 that is cut out. It's telling us it's five feet by five feet. Okay. Typically, it's easier to add than it is to subtract. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this one first. Okay. So nine times two, 18. Carry the one. Nine times one is nine plus one is 10. Five times seven is 35. Okay. So now we're just going to go 108 plus 35, 8 plus 5 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, and bring our 1 down. So, the 143, and it's in feet, and we multiplied feet by feet, so it's feet squared, okay? So, if it's a super weird shape that you are just not sure how to cut, you can do it as if it's a whole rectangle, and then subtract the part that's cut out, okay? So you can do 12 by 14. Four times two is eight. Four times one is four. We would go through and tick, tack, and toe, and then one times 12. Eight, six, one, and then five times five is 25, so we would do 168 minus 25. Five minus Sorry, 8 minus 5 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, and bring down our 1. Same answer, guys, okay? Just two different ways to do the problem, whichever way is easier for you, okay? Typically, addition is easier than subtraction, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the addition way. So we have 9 by 5, and we have 3 but so we have to take the five off of the 11 here okay because we don't have this five we only have this well 11 minus five is six okay so six by three okay and it's telling you right here that this is six okay this arrow right here that tells you that that's six okay so nine times five is 45 six times three is 18 let's add those Okay, five plus eight is 13, carry the one. One plus four is five, plus one more is six. So 63 inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so inches squared, okay? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys do four through six. We're gonna go down and do, we're gonna use the diagram for seven and eight, okay? It says, what is the area of the space that Nadia has shown for scrapbooking? So just this. Okay. So we know that. Okay. So. Okay. We have 13 okay, by, we have to do the 9 minus, minus that 5. So it's going to be 13 times 4. Okay? Sorry, that one was unclear for a second. So, 4 times 3 is 12. 
carry the one. Four times one is four plus one is five. So 52. You can write feet squared if you want or square feet if you want. I'm going to write feet with an exponent of two. Okay. What is the area of the space she's shown for painting? Okay. So now we have the five. And we're going to mean it looks like it's a square. So we're actually, yep, it is a square. So it is five by five, which is 25. So 25 feet, we multiply feet by feet, so feet squared. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down into this power review. It says giraffes are the tallest land animals. A male giraffe can grow as tall as six yards. How tall would a giraffe be in feet? So we're going to start with what it tells us. When one yard is three feet. Okay. This is just the conversion. It's just that one yard is equal to three feet. That's all that means. Okay. We're not adding, we're not um doing any fancy math here. It's just that one yard is equal to three feet. Okay, so I'm going to cross out yards. I'm left with feet, which is what I want. And six times three is 18. 18 feet. Okay. Through purchase three books, each with a different price for $24. The cost of each book has multiple of four. What could the prices be of this? Hmm. Okay, well, hmm. let's see. We could say maybe one of the books is $4. That leaves us $20, okay? Well, 20, finding two that have multiples of four, well, eight is a multiple of four, and so is 12. So there you go, okay? Esmeralda has a magnet in the shape of a square. Each side of the magnet is three inches long. What is the perimeter? Okay, so three and there are four sides to a square. This is where we're adding them up. So if I had a square and each side was three, okay, so I'm not doing three times three, which would give me the area. I'm doing three times four because there's one, two, three, four sets of three, 12. So 12 inches, done, okay. What is the area of the rectangle below? Well. 7 times 9 is 63, and feet times feet is feet squared. All done, guys. All right, thanks for hanging out for 13.3. Come on back for 13.4.